Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. A few years ago I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing boat for the price of one dollar. And since then I've been rebuilding that boat from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. Well we've got a lot of different things going on in this video, some really exciting stuff happening on the boat right now. We're going to be hanging the boom, attaching it to the mast. We're going to start out by looking at the five rail, which is an important deck to rig connection. Uh, Zeal has been making this and he started out a little while ago when the boat was still in the big shed uh, by cutting up and milling some rough purple heart timbers which were left over uh, as offcuts from some previous work we did on the boat. So the fife rail is a piece of hardware that is constructed at the base of the mast in order to make certain lines off. And what that means is, you know, the rig of course contains uh, lots of different lines um, that hoist various things and a lot of them come down from the mast and some of them go out to the pin rails which are on the outboard sides of the boat and in our case they're sort of incorporated into the cap rail. And when those lines come down they get wrapped around a belaying pin and that's called making them off and it's essentially tying them um, using a kind of figure eight to make a lot of friction. So some of those lines come down to the outside of the boat, um, some of them are halyards, some of them might be topping lifts, things like that, but some of them will come down uh, closer to the mast and those ones uh, also need a place to be made off and so that's what the Fife rail is. It's essentially a flat rail mounted on two vertical posts and it'll have several belaying pins in, so those lines that come down can be made off onto those pins, and the rail itself is designed to take upwards force. Now in this case, the posts are gonna be made out of purple heart, and the rail at the top is gonna be made out of teak, and it's gonna match more or less the pin rails that are incorporated into the cap rails at the outboard side of the deck. Now Zeal has cut and milled the purple heart timbers to the uh, finished size of the five rail posts. His next job is to create a space for them to sit in the deck. Now the posts are gonna have a tenon cut into the bottom of them eventually, and that tenon is gonna mortise all the way through the deck structure. So he's gonna cut a mortise for that. The shoulder of the tenon will sit on the deck structure uh, underneath the deck planks. So he's gonna cut away the deck planks, first of all, uh, in the shape and size of the exterior of the finished post. Eventually the joint between the planks and the post will be corked like the rest of the deck. The posts for the fife rail will mortise through the deck, sit on the top of the deck blocking, and then there will be a mortise through that deck blocking. Then there will be a bolt that goes through all of that down to below this extra block or pad or deck beam that goes athwart ships.
Okay, so the posts are in place and looking really good. Uh, next seal is going to be working on the rail that fits in between them. Uh, for now though, we're gonna catch up with Nick, uh, who has been working on the cabinetry in the chart table area. Now in this area is our primary switch panel, uh, and it's going to be a cherry face frame uh, with a panel door in it. And in that panel door is gonna be all of our 12 volt switches, a lot of our gauges, alarm panels, some displays. The panel is gonna open the door there, and then behind is gonna be all our AC switches and breakers and uh, access to the back of those displays and things like that. So he's gonna start off by building the cherry face frame, which is gonna mount around the uh, existing structure of the boat, uh, leaving a gap for the opening panel to be installed later. Oh, sorry, oh, Raquel. Joe. Hello, hey. Raquel. <laughs> well, Raquel, I'm taking this panel off. Wow. <laughs> and I'm waiting for him to do that. So, <laughs> I just got done fitting this frame, and the frame is going to have like a panel inside, and that panel is where we're going to mount all of the instrument to control like the navigation and basically the whole boat. Just fitting this and I'm gonna take it off. I gotta make this panel next. Joe's gonna wire a bunch of stuff up and then we'll combine forces and put everything in. That's it. As you guys know, costs on this project have been going up and up. So I'm delighted to say that this episode is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Now, I love living in the USA, but sometimes after a hard day's boat building, all I want to do is sit back and watch one of my favorite British TV soap operas. Unfortunately, many TV streaming services are geographically restricted when you live in a different country. With Surfshark VPN, I can change my virtual location to bypass those restrictions and watch all my favorite shows. Beep. <laughs> Domine, nomis, etc., etc. I'm sorry, we did everything we could. We've lost him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get in here. F you, dude. You can't do like that. <laughs> what do you want me to hold it in? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> As well as being useful for unblocking your favorite streaming platforms, Surfshark VPN can help keep your personal data safe and secure from prying eyes. Right now you can still get an exclusive Surfshark Black Friday deal. Enter promo code TALLYHO to get up to six additional months for free. Links in the description below. Oh Charles, at least now we can freely express our love together. Not on my watch. Boulder Dash. <laughs> he loves it. Well, the cabinetry in the chart table area is looking really good, but we're going to go back now and check in with Zeal again. So he's already cut the hole in the deck, which accepts the size and shape of the post. And then underneath the deck, in the deck structure, he's cut the mortise, which accepts the tenon on the bottom of the post. Next up, he's gonna cut a heavy piece of oak, which will be fastened up against the bottom of the deck structure. And then there's gonna be some big bronze bolts that run down through the middle of the posts. Those bolts are gonna go through that piece of oak and have a nut on the bottom. So that big bolt will hold the post down squarely in the mortise and be especially good for that vertical load that the Fife rail is designed for.
Next we're going to check in with what Bob has been up to. He's been working on the gooseneck fitting which was cast for us by Port Townsend Foundry. He's going to be mounting that to the mast. The gooseneck is what we call the hardware assembly that attaches the boom to the mast. It uh, allows the boom to articulate in all directions and it's just a very strong hardware connection that you need to attach a bunch of different things to and pull in different directions. So ours attaches to the mast via these two bands that go all the way around the mast and then bolt together and they're pretty heavily built but fairly straightforward. They just had to be carefully fit and they're being mounted with a strip of leather under them as kind of a soft interface to uh, help prevent damage to the soft spruce that the mast is made of long term and this uh, this will do a really good job of distributing all the loads from the boom around the mast uh, so that you know we don't crush spruce fibers Well, now that Bob has fastened the gooseneck bands to the mast and they look fantastic, it's time for us to put them to use and hang a boom there. Now, Tally Ho's boom is constructed. It's down at the uh, other end of town where it was built by Robert and Doug and their awesome team there. The purpose of the boom, in case you're not familiar, is to control the main sail. And so uh, the front of the boom is attached to the mast. The back of the boom is also attached to the boat with a sheet. And a sheet is a line or a rope that goes between the, uh, near the end of the boom and the horse or the jibe buffer on the deck of the boat. And that line or rope controls the angle of the boom and the sheeting position of the sail. And the sail itself is attached to the boom uh, at the front of the boom with the tack of the sail and at the back of the boom with the clue of the sail and sometimes lashed to the boom itself as well. This boom is modeled as closely as we could on Tally Ho's original boom, uh, although we didn't have a huge amount of information about it, but it is the same length or as close as we could figure. Uh, Tally Ho's boom was later shortened, but we're going with the original longer boom because I like the idea of having more sail area and why not? What do you think, Boone boys? It's a big stick. Look at this action. Oh, wow. You ever seen a bowl look that good? That? Fellas, what are we doing? Uh, We're lifting the boom up. This is going up there. What? I'm not sure what it does. We just do what we're told. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
So we have a boom on the boat. It's really fantastic to uh, see this beautiful spa in place. It makes the whole boat uh, look more like the sailing boat she once was and will eventually be again. Uh, boom is mounted obviously to the mast via this uh, very beautiful bronze hardware here. And um, we've also got the five rail installed and almost finished now. Uh, Zeal installed this uh, teak rail uh, in between the two posts which is rebated or rabbited into the posts here and it's going to eventually have some uh, more belaying pins in it for more lines to be made off on and then the posts and the ends of the rail here will also be used as a very large cleat essentially now it's pretty much finished uh, it just needs another couple of coats of paint uh, some little brass uh, strips to prevent chafe and probably some bronze on the top as well as the pins of course but it's looking really nice uh, matches the pin rails outboard of course in its profile here and it's just great to see so many things coming together on deck also really pleased with the work going on down below uh, the cabinetry in the chart table area and all the systems work in that area is really exciting and there's a lot more stuff going on down below which i'm going to show you really soon for now though Thanks a lot for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. It means we're able to keep on doing this work and we're able to keep on making and editing these videos. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.